Good afternoon and hi there. Welcome to this service of prayer uh, this afternoon from Hampstead Parish Church. It is a great joy um, for me for the first time to offer prayers online at this time of the day as part of our daily prayer service from inside the church, from the Lady Chapel. We have an external lighting project going on at the moment and also some building works which are just over there and so hopefully it won't be too loud for the next few minutes so that we can enjoy this time of prayer together and rest in God's presence. As ever, we are using the Church of England's Time to Pray app and first of all, we listen to our church bells. For some reason, listening to a YouTube video recording of our church bell from the 23rd of March while inside the church itself is particularly strange. We pray especially today that at this time of the churches uh, beginning to be open for private prayer, it's possible to be able to imagine a future where slowly but surely we are able to gather together again for worship as a community. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Make me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save us and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save us and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save us and help us, that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6. Jesus said, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. We take a moment to pause and contemplate those challenging words of Jesus, that we must love our enemies, no matter who they are, no matter what they've done.
Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we pray today for all who are in government, all whose rule gives them power and gives them authority. We pray for the Queen, the Prime Minister, for all parties and their leaders. We pray for good discernment, for a way forward through COVID-19 and through the other pressing issues that are of such concern in our nation right now. We pray for fairness, for decisions that will benefit the most vulnerable, those who are in most urgent need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray in a world in which there is so much conflict, so much oppression, that your peace will be present in every heart. Transform, Lord, the perceptions and the actions of those who would do violence to their neighbor, of those who would wish to elevate themselves above those around them. We pray for a rising up of liberation, a rising up of anti-racism. We pray for justice for those who for so long have borne the heavy weight of racial injustice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray today, Lord, for all who are suffering in any way, for those who are afraid or anxious, for any who are subject to the horrors of abuse in its many forms. We pray for comfort, for support, for relief. We pray too for those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit. We pray for members of our community who are in hospital, who are in deep need. We pray for health, for compassion, for well-being. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all the benefits that you have won for us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us. Most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May Christ our Savior give us peace. Amen. It is good to pray together, to worship God together, and may God's blessing rest upon you this day and always. We conclude our time of prayer by listening to our church's bell.
good day. Bye-bye.